the northern and southern lights have been a source of fascination and wonder for thousands of years. But in 2024, people in some parts of the world noticed that the aurora had come to them. And if they checked their phones, they might have also noticed their GPS thought they were moving when they weren't, or in the wrong place altogether. That's because during that time, our sun had unleashed a massive solar storm, disrupting the atmosphere and location-based services across the planet. Today, we're learning how the phone in your pocket can improve GPS by creating better maps of a part of our upper atmosphere known as the ionosphere. Bringing atmospheric data down to Earth. We're all familiar with our atmosphere and they are mostly composed of neutral particles, molecules and atoms. But higher up in the space where solar radiations enter the atmosphere, the energies from ultraviolet and X-rays, they strip the electrons of these neutral particles. And that part of the atmosphere is the ionosphere. It sits between about 80 to 1500 kilometer altitude range. And those ranges change depending on where you are and what time it is and how active the sun is. This is important because radio signals, including GPS, need to travel through the ionosphere. But events like solar flares, as well as hurricanes and thunderstorms, can change its density and composition, disrupting location-based systems and basic radio communications. That's why we need to continuously measure the ionosphere to accurately correct for disturbances when they happen. However, collecting this data can be costly and challenging in certain parts of the world. Scientists map the ionosphere today using GPS monitoring stations. The GPS receiver in these monitoring stations measures the time difference in arrival from two signals from each satellite that come in at two different frequencies. They're not cheap to run, so there are only some parts of the world that have dense monitoring station networks. Instead of a few thousand stations across the planet, there are billions of Android phones all over the world. And by crowdsourcing this information, we can measure the quality of these signals at a massive scale, which allows us to visualize signal activity much more clearly. As a result, we're able to create a more accurate map of the ionosphere that is constantly being updated. Each map is created by combining measurements from many different phones. And so the individual contribution from each device is obscured this way. The ionosphere is one of the most readily available indicators of space weather. This new mapping technique could double our existing coverage and help to unlock new opportunities in areas such as emergency response, aviation, and agriculture. Places like India, you know, Africa, these areas are where atmosphere activities are known to be very abnormal, but we don't have enough measurements. And putting up dedicated stations is just not possible, especially on a larger scale. Then there's other industries, for example, transportation, aircraft landing, driverless vehicles, having good navigation solutions. Those are very, very essential. And a more accurate atmosphere map also benefit Android users because an Android user, quite often you use phone for navigation and the atmosphere could create errors. So having good atmosphere map allows software developers to incorporate information so you're going to get better or more accurate solutions. These ionosphere maps are also contributing to the scientific community to, to show scientists a new view in the ionosphere that they wouldn't otherwise have. One of the realizations uh, of working on this project is that we all have access to information that can positively impact our society's productivity and functions. And the possibilities don't stop there. To learn more about this project and Science AI at Google, click the link in the description.